Hello, everyone. Welcome back to New View. I'm here just checking into the full moon energy, you guys. And well, here's the thing, okay? Um, sometimes I pick up on people who have passed on. And, and I did pick up on that energy as I walked into the room. I'm like, ooh, um, somebody wants to communicate, right? Um, yeah, and somebody is coming through here. So are your ancestors and possibly spirit guides, okay? Like everybody's coming through for you in this reading, all right? Um, but just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. This could very well be for someone specific, okay? Um, and uh, thank you everyone for all of your support. I love you guys right back, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all of my subscribers. We're growing this channel from the ground up together, and I'm so proud of us all. Um, and welcome to everybody new here. Hi, I'm Mammy Becca. You can call me Lulu as well. <laughs> All right, so, um, oh, and the links to my other channels are in the description box below, you guys. Also, I do have um, the dreams for my dream interpretation. They're about to, uh, or they're trickling in. Okay, so people are now starting to send me their dreams, right? Um, so I have two dream interpretations that I'm going to do out here on New View very, very soon, okay? All right, so um, for those of you waiting for your interpretation, okay, so yes, I'm seeing you, um, you've, you have broken some generational curses, okay, just so you know, your ancestors are being released from karma, they're being freed, or you're being released from karma, and you may feel in this energy where everything is starting to, um, like go better for you everything is starting to be a little bit easier for you your blessings are rolling in okay because you've passed through judgment definitely here and there you've got ancestors all around you you know I, especially i'm seeing this feather right you could be seeing a lot of feathers these days um just kind of laying at your feet in your yard wherever as you're as you're walking they'll be in front of you that kind of thing um that's a message from your ancestors or from someone who's passed on that they're trying to reach out to you i just feel like a lot of thanks gratitude celebrations being held for you on the 5d okay because you've got your spirit guides around you too. look at all the spirit around you Okay, um, manifestation, you know, with the spirit, um, passed on loved ones coming through with manifestation, I feel like you may even start seeing some spirit, you could be entering into mediumship. Okay, you could you, um, you may see a manifestation of a, an, an ancestor or a passed on loved one, um, especially during this full moon energy. Okay. I feel like this particular full moon is being kind of like intensified by the static electricity that's in the air. Can you guys feel it? It's like there's about to be a confrontation, you know, and I've been picking that up on, in my readings too um, on Loom and Moon Tarot, right? That's my other channel. It's The link to follow is in the description box below. Um, yeah, I've, I've been picking up on that a lot in my readings, the shakeup happening, the static that's happening between the masculines and the feminines during this full moon, um, something about the way Mars and Venus plays off of Saturn, um, during this full moon, Mars stands for masculine energy, Venus to me stands for, um, feminine energy, okay, and th there's, there's some static there's going to be some kind of action being taken towards you as well, possibly in the next few days, okay? And this full moon, just so you know, is coming in on the 24th, which is tomorrow, all right? But we're in that energy already. Anyway, back to this person. I am picking up heavy on somebody who's trying to communicate with you. I feel like this is someone that you freed. Okay, um, and look, if you notice, look at all the butterflies being freed and they're flying to the sky. I'm telling you, you're going to be seeing spirit around you in the next few days. Um, 
they may even manifest like you will actually physically see someone you know um this person trying to reach out to you it could be a feminine energy could be a mother could be an aunt a sister i'm uh, it could even be a best friend okay i'm hearing something about a car accident okay something about a car accident if a friend happened to pass away in a car accident and that could be a confirmation for someone so this could be who this person is they're going you could hear voices okay um you're somebody who is entering into mediumship or something you're very tapped into your spirit guides they're all around you your ancestors are all around you thanking you being freed celebrating this passed on loved one is grateful thanking you you know you may see them they may be silent and just smiling okay it may creep you out a little bit because i'm seeing you looking pretty pale here okay like you've just seen a ghost like for real you're you could very well see a ghost okay that's that's what this is yeah but you're protected i feel like whoever is about to show themselves to you um this is somebody who has a positive vibe this is somebody who brings or br has brought positivity towards you in your life so i feel like this isn't something that you should be afraid of but it does kind of scare you because you turn like white as a sheet okay you're about to see it's either an ancestor, a spirit guide, or a passed on loved one. Okay. And honestly, I mean, for those of you who are new here, this isn't a weird thing. This kind of stuff happens to me personally all the time. Okay. And I, most of the time I know the people that are showing up, so I don't usually get afraid, but it does startle you, you know? It, it will startle you, collective. Um, I will tell you that. And they may not say anything to you. They may just show up and smile, okay? This person showing up, um, manifesting in front of you, they could be wearing purple. I don't know. They could have long blonde hair. Yeah, see, I'm kind of seeing this as like a wreckage. So this could be somebody who died um, or passed away in a car accident. You're going to be getting a lot of messages, though, from your ancestors. And I do feel like they're celebrating you because you have freed them. Um, from curses you have released these people from karma um yes i feel like you're going to be getting a lot of downloads a lot of messages okay a lot of signs that's that goes along with that feather uh, you're going to be seeing who for whoever this is for you'll be seeing things like feathers um pictures of dragonflies or butterflies um You'll also be, you could be like visiting or driving past a cemetery this weekend sometime. You're going to be seeing things like pennies. Okay, there could be items that are moved around in your home. That's another sign. Yeah, you're, I feel like your house may be, it's just got a lot of activity around you. Look at this. There's a lot of activity around you. And this person who has passed on. This could have been someone who's passed on within the last two to three years. Okay, yeah. And I feel like it will, it'll startle you. It's going to creep you out. It is. There's a lot of activity in your home. Like, there's a lot of activity around you for whoever this is for. It's, it's, it's an odd amount of activity. I don't know why. Were you playing with some kind of Ouija board or something? 
because I hope that's not the case. Oh boy, do I hope that's not the case. Okay, with travel here and long distance, did you hold some kind of seance? Did you, did you uh, like try to record voices in your home? Like, what did you do? What did, what's going on here? Because there's a, I mean, each one of these little bubbles is a spirit. Okay. It's either that, it's either that you did something here or like you were playing with something. It could have been a game. It could have been anything. It could have been calling out to spirit. Okay, you called out to spirit and everybody shows up. <laughs> you know what I mean? It could be something like that. You know? The more I look at this, the more I think that there's some kind of portal that could have been opened. Okay, so this could be a warning too for someone. Because there is a lot of activity around you, and I mean a lot. And something here does scare you, okay? I feel like you feel, somebody here feels a bit frightened. You know, this can be someone else's energy as well, okay? I can take this a couple different ways, right? I can take all, you being congratulated and visited, right, by spirit. And I can take it as someone else could have done something. I feel like there could have been some kind of spell work or some kind of summoning here, or an opening of a portal. And someone here could even be, like, haunted in their home, okay? This just looks like a haunted house to me. Seeing shadow figures, because you're seeing something completely different. See, you're seeing all these happy spirits around you, okay? Your spirit guide's protecting you. You do have protection, but somebody else did something different. So the more I look at this, I think that this is your energy and positive energy around you. And I'm thinking this is someone else entirely that was playing games, playing around with things they don't understand. And it opened something up for something dark to come in. That's a portal being opened. Okay, this is something traveling through this portal. I feel like you are protected. This is protection. This is harmony. Okay, but this is something different entirely. So, uh, yeah, I feel like you are going to be visited by someone who wants to congratulate you, someone who wants to say they're proud of you. I mean, you've got all your ancestors around you saying they're proud of you. Okay, they're celebrating you on the 5D. But someone else, someone else is being visited by something else that's dark. Okay, and it's getting into their home or it's in their home. If you look at this shadow, it's not just on the outside, it's on the inside in, their, in this room. So I feel like, um, yeah, whoever this person is that's being haunted... They're feeling a lot of shame right now. Um, they're feeling like maybe spirit has denied them right now. They could have been in denial with you in the past in this connection. Yeah, at nighttime, this person is haunted for whoever this is for. And it's not your energy, okay? I'm seeing you being visited by positive beings, okay? Yeah, and it's, it doesn't seem like it's you. I feel like you know who this is. Look at the look on your face. You're like, I know who that is. You know what I mean? This could be your person from your past that's going through this. And you know that this is part of their karma, I, I also feel like you've got some um, spirit guides here behind you that are coming in to fight a battle for you or protect you from whatever this is. So you're being protected and there's some kind of battle going on here. Okay, there could be some of your spirit guides in this person's home. I feel like they... they um, 
they're getting their butts whooped. That's for sure. You are definitely protected. Oh, you're so protected. Okay, look at all. Uh, this, is, this is like the divine wrapped around you. Okay. Yeah, infinity. Yep, you know you're protected. Mantis beings are in this person's home. Praying, praying mantis beings, okay? Praying upon this person now. Like, pray, like P-R-E-Y, okay? Maybe utilizing their energy, this person's energy. They called upon something dark here. And that dark entity is in their home. Okay. Yeah. This this person who did this, they were very, uh, they were like a tyrant. They were very controlling. Uh, this is somebody who, uh, I feel like they were narcissistic or they are narcissistic. And they were like feeding off of your en your energy because they're coming through as a predator. They're coming through as, you know, this energy is very controlling and narcissistic. Okay, yes. So you are dealing with a narcissist, and this narcissist tried to control the outcome by, like, dabbling in things they don't understand. And they opened up a portal, and now they're angry because now they're being haunted in their home. And meanwhile, you are being surrounded by spirit. Um, protection, okay? You could actually see two, two spirits manifest before you. This person from your past, this one who's passed away, possibly in a car accident, a feminine energy, and you could see a spirit guide as well, okay? Manifest in front of you. Um, the, uh, you're very sensitive and very in tune, you guys, and this stuff does happen to people. So, yeah, um, because the divine is trying to tell you that you're protected. Use your intuition. I've got intuition here on the bottom of the deck. Use your intuition. You'll know who these people are to you. And like I said, they may not say anything. They may just, it may just be a look. Or they may show up and it may be very, very brief. Like you'll see them out of the corner of your eye. Or it'll be a flash of them, something like that. And they'll be smiling at you, okay? Because they're happy. Um, you, could, you could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio extremely intuitive as above so below and look i'm seeing this it's an it's a upside down triangle okay that means that what you're receiving you're way open to receive you're going to be receiving a lot of downloads okay coming from the divine directly to you all right Whoever you are, you are, you're a sweetheart, you're very kind, you're very compassionate to others. Um, you could be a star seed, you know, um, definitely light worker energy here. Extremely intuitive, very tapped in. It's going to feel like your senses are amplified in the next few days, uh, anywhere from the next three to five days, Okay. Your senses are going to be amplified, and um, you're gonna you're gonna see spirit around you. I don't know who this is for. It's not going to be for all of you, okay? That's okay. But for whoever this is for, just be prepared for this. All right. And you're already getting signs in um, objects like the feathers and the pennies and you know, um, whatever else. I'm seeing birds, like flocks of birds. Yeah. And I'm also getting that, you know, you just need to know that you're protected, okay? You are protected. 
you know, if um, if these people try to say something to you, you may not hear what they're saying, okay? I don't know if you're even going to hear what they have to say, but you're going to you're going to get the messages. Okay. So you're not going to hear the words that they say, you know, like um with your ears, okay? You're going to hear the words that they say through your mind. So trust your intuition. That's what they're telling me. Okay? You're going to have like psychic communication with these spirits. <laughs> you guys, I'm just I'm delivering the messages as they're giving them to me, okay? Um yes, you're going to have it's going to be more like psychic communication. That's why they're coming across. Okay, see, that's why. Thank you, spirit. That's why they're coming across to me as just standing there smiling and not saying anything. Okay, that's why. All right? Because they are going to be saying things to you, but it's going to come. It's, they're going to be speaking through your mind. Okay? So trust your intuition. They're also showing me someone writing something down with a pencil. Um, take notes on what they say. Okay? If you have to, just write down what write down what they're saying in your head, okay? <laughs> Does that make sense? It's psychic communication, and that also is very normal when you're entering into mediumship, okay? Communicating with spirits. All right, so what else can you show me here? And meanwhile, this person, this, yeah, see, and that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's another confirmation, you guys. Thank you, Divine. This is a confirmation of what I just said. Okay, that's it. They're, they're going to be speaking to you through your third eye, through your mind. Okay, so trust your intuition. All right, you're going to be seeing visions of them. Okay. It's this person and maybe a second person. This could be a spirit guide. Okay, but this one here is someone who's recently or fairly recently passed on. Okay, and I'm, I am clearly picking up on car accident vibes. I, I don't know um, what that's all about. Okay, but yes. Because you are so extremely, extremely tra uh, uh, tapped in. You're extremely tapped in. They, they may even be coming to you in your dreams. Okay, it says dreams right here. Awe, inspiration. Um, so yeah, I, you're going to see them in your dreams. You may see them in your home. Okay, they're going to be speaking to you through your mind. Telepathic communication. Okay, and if you're just newly introduced to this mediumship, <laughs> um, because spirit is heightening your abilities, man, I feel for you. You're it's gonna it's gonna shock you. Okay, so I really want you guys to prepare for this for whoever this is for. Prepare for this. Okay, this is going to be a huge jump in your intuition, I'm telling you, and your, your sight. Okay? <laughs> anyway, collective, listen, that's what I've got for this reading. Um, I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates. Um, like and subscribe to the channel, you guys. Join this awesome soul tribe, yes? And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.